Greetings to the one watching this. I am Prithvi, presenting our static web page about agricultural crops and their benefits. I am using a blank text document on the right to demonstrate how the website crop dossier was built from the scratch. So basically what I will be doing in this video is that I will be copying the source code from the finished web page to the blank text document. Let's start things off with the title to the web page crop dossier and the background color. The background color is somewhere between black and beige. On refreshing the web page, we can clearly see the title crop dossier and the background color. Now that the title and the background color are being added to our website, let's add a banner image to our website. The banner image that I chose is the splendid image of a high resolution tea plantation. But the size of the image is little too big. So I am defining the height and the width of the image in style class i1 as you can see the width of the image is 1440 pixels and the height is 440 pixels on the first the web page it clearly looks better adding a header to your website is much better than just having the title of your web page so i'm adding the header crop dossier into my web page and i'm defining its style in its class well as you can see the title is now centered and the text color is given as white. Next up, let's add some quotes and some text into our web page. These information and quotes are took from Wikipedia and I have segregated them into different classes such as Q, TXT, TXTT and so forth. The thing is I went with different styles for the headings, the quotes and the main text. So I have segregated them into different classes. The quotes come under the class Q, the headings under the class TXT and the main text under the class TXTT. Now as you can see, I am copying and pasting the definition of the previously mentioned classes into the text document. Now, on refreshing the web page, we can clearly see that the style elements have come into effect. The quotes and the main text are given with different font family and they are of the different text colors. It clearly looks better than the previous version without the style sheet. Next up, I am going to add an image. This is the most important part of our website. This makes our website stand out from the other static web pages as it contains the image map to three hyperlinks. Now I am just copying and pasting the image address and the map coordinates which you can get from the internet. These map coordinates create clickable parts in your image which we can map to any hyperlink. As you can see the image is little too big and it is aligned to the left. Now I am defining the image to be 380 pixels wide and 380 pixels high. And I am also defining the alignment to be centered. As you can see on refreshing the web page, the image is aligned on the center and it is resized. Now with the index page done, let's jump to the other three web pages. The next website is about medicinal crops and their benefits. I am following a similar approach when it comes to the style sheets. The only way it differs from the other website, it is the index website, is that I am using unordered list to display the benefits of the various medicinal crops. Now I am copying and pasting the text which is the information which gives the benefits of the various medicinal crops and the image links to the various images of the respective crops. Now as you can see this website is the best example of how cascading style sheets can transform a website from looking awful and basic to a well stylish and polished website. What I am doing now is as you can see copying and pasting the style sheets from the finished website to the text document. The images of the medicinal crops come under the style which design them to float left. 
It is the images will be aligned to the left and the preceding text will be directly to the right of the images. Now that the text has been stylized, let's give style to the headings. The headings in this page follow a similar style as the codes in the previous page. They have the same font and the same font color. As you can see, the headings have been stylized to our likings. The other two web pages about the foot graphs and the cash graphs follow a similar creation pattern. And hence I am skipping the creation. This is a web page about cash crops. It lists the various cash crops and their benefits. As you can see, it follows a similar style to the previous page. And this is the website about the food crops. Obviously, it displays various food crops and their benefits in bulletins. And it too follows a similar style to the previous page. Now, coming to the index page. Let's see the image map in action. For the demonstration, I am closing all the other tabs. Now when I click the image of the mulberry, it clearly directs me to the cash crops page. It is how the image mapping works. It creates a clickable area where you can place a hyperlink that you wish. Now when I click on the wheat, it directs me to the food crops page. When I click on pepper, it directs me to the medicinal crops page. Just adding an image map to your website can make it way better. And there you go, our static web page for the agricultural crops. Give this video a like if you learn something new. Thanks for watching.